Hello, everyone. It's been a while. How's you been? Welcome to this month's video. It's a bit late, I know, but life has been really full, as usual for me. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria Rubio. I am an illustrator. So today we're going to answer the question. How do I find my style in art? Uh, that is something we all struggle when we start. We all ask desperately to, to all of our heroes, like, how do we do it? How do we get there? And yeah, today I actually bring the answer to you in the form of a sketchbook tour. So this sketchbook I bring to you today is not any sketchbook. Uh, let me tell you a little story. When I turned 30 two years ago, you know, we were in like the middle of the lockdowns and all those lovely things that happened during that time, I felt out of touch with myself and especially with my drawing. Uh, I was cooking a lot, I was embroidering a lot and all those kind of things. I was exercising, I got like really, really strong, but I felt like I was neglecting my art. Like, like I was not putting the time I wanted to put in and I felt like I needed to re reconnect with that part of, of myself. So I decided to challenge myself from the moment I turned 30 until I turned 31. I would draw every single day, no matter what, and I wouldn't post it anywhere. It would be just for me, no pressure, because a lot of times we draw with that pressure that, oh, it has to look pretty, it's gonna go on social media and all that. And I didn't want that. So I got myself this big sketchbook. Uh, it's the uh, Leuch Leuchmann 1917. I don't know how you pronounce them. I'll put the details in the screen so you can see. Slightly bigger than an A4. I knew I wanted a big sketchbook so I could explore. And I like the paper on, on this one because it's like thick and I wanted somewhere where I could do markers without it bleeding through. So this one is the one I got. I would recommend it. It's a really nice sketchbook. It's yellow, one of my favorite colors. So it was perfect. So let's begin. Uh, sorry, other things. Here I put like the date and the hour from which I started, which is kind of cute. And the first thing I did, which I did it the day before I turned, 30 was actually writing down the rules and the rules were that basically that I had to draw every single day no matter if I had one minute to one hour I had to draw something and I was not allowed so to say to post it on social media while it was happening because as I said I didn't want the pressure of other people's opinion stopping me from trying out things because that was one of the other rules like I had to experiment I had to push I had to do whatever I wanted let's start uh, I'll start for the first page because even though it's not my favorite but it's the first one so it says like dando la bienvenida a los 30 so it's like welcoming my 30s and it's just like little snippets of what happened that day. Here I stuck a um, flower, like my sister Anna sent me a beautiful bouquet and I wanted to keep that forever. So I, I put that there and, and let's keep going. Oh, this page is interesting as well. Uh, one of the gifts I got was uh, from Mark. It was a tattoo and we knew we wanted to get this tattoo together like a pint and a half because it was our order every time we went to the pub. So here I started like experimenting with how I would want that to look like. Let's keep going. Oh, this one. This one you know uh, because I, I've posted it on Instagram. I did a digital version on th of this one. And it's also one of the first videos of my channel. I did uh, this little comic in short film form. And this is one of the greatest things of this sketchbook that a lot of my best ideas uh, have come from here. It's just like pizza thing stuff. See, I, I like to do like this kind of things, even though they were not great, but it is an experiment. It's something I wouldn't have done any any other way and, and I think that's cool. 
I kind of liked to use it a bit as diary of my day to day because after all it is a diary so I did like to reflect some of the events that were going on. This is a week of uh, meals, all the things we ate that week that funny enough without talking about it uh, Mark and I accidentally made meals that were black, white and red that week and it's just funny I happened to record it that week. Oh, this one is one of my favorite pages of the, of the sketchbook. Uh, if you're a fermenter, you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, remember to feed your Maria bug with chocolate every day to get the best ferments. Uh, during this time, it's also when I got into fermentation. So I was reading a lot of uh, books and I was reading The Art of Fermentation by Sandra Katz and it was he was talking about your ginger bug. That's something you used to like jumpstart other ferments and how you had to feed it every day and I like to eat chocolate every day so I thought I don't know that was like a funny idea and yeah it's definitely one of my favorites and it's also one in this drawing I feel like you see the start of this style I have at the moment um, like doing this exercise this entire thing is what definitely helped me feel a lot more confident with my drawing feel happier and feel like yeah and this is one of like the first and I really really like it I feel like I should like scan it and print it big because I like it okay this pages that come now are from a domestica course I did at the time. It was about getting into sketchbooking and like freeing yourself and all that. So these are the exercises I did. I, I kind of like them. Um, yeah, I think, I think they look really cool. Some of them are better than others, of course, but as I said, there's no judgment in this, in this sketchbook. It was just like, try out different things and see what happens. I love this one, it's really cool. Oh, and, and this is definitely one of my favorite pages in the diary. Uh, I think it was one of the exercises of that course uh, and I just love it. These are seam rippers, uh, it's something I use for sewing. And I just, I love the idea. I would, I would print this on a fabric and make a dress out of it because it just looks gorgeous. Um, yeah, this page is, I also really like, like both of this, I think they look gorgeous side to side. Same with like this one, uh, like this banana, I love, I love the banana and this tea as well. You see, some days like the drawings were as simple as this, like uh, I don't have time, I don't know what to draw, just you get it, you know what I mean. Okay, and here, so that year I said I was not going to do Inktober. I had done it two years in a row, uh, but that year I was like, no, I'm not going to make it because also I was traveling to Spain to meet Mark's parents for the first time and he was coming to meet my parents. So we were going to spend two weeks of family intense wonderland in Spain. So it's like, I'm not going to have time. I'm not going to carry this big ass uh, sketchbook with me um, but I was talking to a friend and she was like oh no you're not gonna do it that's so sad so it's like damn it okay I'm in and so I decided to do it like I, I brought with me a post-it uh, block and I did all the drawings on post-its I think they look really nice uh, and then I just came back and put them on my notebook it was really nice like a diary of what happened those weeks this is when we finally got the house when we're currently living in because I moved during this um, sketchbook. Like so many things happened during this sketchbook. And, but yeah, I really love this page. Maybe they're not the best drawings ever, but I love the experimentation in them. This was the point of the sketchbook, just like do things no matter what, it doesn't matter. And by this point, I feel like you can see I'm way more confident, I'm more relaxed, things are better. Well, you get to this page and it's crap, but <laughs> you know. Oh, this is a really nice drawing. My sister Clara and I dressed up as tagines for um, my parents' New Year's Eve party. And that's what we dressed up that, 
idea. It's pretty fun. And I feel like, okay, this is almost the end. I feel like by the end, I kind of ran out of time to, to work on this. And I think this one is like the last good drawing I have here. This is almost the end. Um, I like this one. This one's, see, some days there was like, this is all I could draw and it's still okay because I drew that day. And that's, that's important for me. And this is the last day. Uh, I decided to make like a recap of everything that happened that day and how I felt uh, through the through the day. And then I think here, yeah, I did like a little recap of my thoughts of how the experiment had gone. It's not for myself. It's the first time showing this on camera, like any of this. Uh, well, some of the drawings did make it to my portfolio and, and like the sketchbook section because I think they're good stuff here. They're really good stuff. There's also really bad stuff, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm really happy I did it. Uh, I love the result. I really like this sketchbook. I'm gonna treasure it for life. I'm thinking I might even do this type of exercise every 10 years or maybe every every five years. I don't know. Let's see. Three years when I turn 33. Let's see how I am. Because I, I do feel uh, I've been once again out of touch with my drawing lately. But and it's something I don't want to miss because I really enjoy it. It makes me feel generally good. I don't know. I just want to get better at it. So and this is a great way to do it. So yeah, if you're struggling with your art, I would recommend you to do this exercise just by a big sketchbook or whatever size you feel comfortable in and draw every single day on it. Don't don't be worried about making it pretty. That's not important. That's not the point. And yeah, if you're happy with something, you can show it on, on your social media, of course, like there's nothing wrong against it, but don't do art thinking on social media. Just do the art you want because you want to do it and you need to do it. And yeah, uh, <laughs> that's all for my talk today. I hope you, you gain some value of it, some ideas. Um, as I said, this is my, how I did things and it worked for me um, um thanks to the thanks to this i've been able to do things i would have never thought i'd be able to do and that makes me really happy that's all for me from today uh see you in the next video and bye bye